So let's talk a little bit about some of the key deal drivers that we're seeing in the logistics sector. Mm -hmm. I understand it's a highly fragmented industry yeah. and that obviously provides lots of opportunities. What does that mean for DHL specifically? So it basically means uh, it's, it's a market where uh, M&A will continue to be structurally a driver of value. Mm -hmm. uh, because in a lot of logistics businesses, um, scale just gives you natural advantages. Particularly in network businesses like the express business, the freight forwarding. The bigger you are, the more you can uh, fill your capacities, the cheaper you can purchase mm -hmm. capacities on the market. So there's a natural trend to scale mm -hmm. um, and margin and uh, that will continue to drive consolidation. Secondly, um, there is uh, a lot of small players who are, don't have the sufficient scale to have access to financing mm -hmm. um, to sort of go and survive the cyclicalities of the industry and they are looking to partner with other bigger players. So there's also a drive upwards from, from their side um, and, uh, and therefore I think uh, the consolidation trend it will, will continue for quite some time. I mean the top uh, five players in our industry currently are about 20-22%. So lots of room share, to consolidate. Lots of to consolidate and sort of the, the literature expects it to go up to 40% over the next <laughs> Now, in terms of if we think about where targets are coming from, you mentioned something really interesting about conglomerates and that many of them actually own logistics operations. Yep. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, I mean, uh, if, if, if you look at um, how logistics are dealt with today, about 40% of logistics operations are outsourced mm -hmm. to players like DHL, like Queen and Argyle and all the others. And about 60% are still dealt with in-house. Mm -hmm. We, we are, we're expecting that trend of outsourcing to continue. For example, the US are further advanced. They have given out more of their business to external providers. The UK and in Europe is a lead market in mm -hmm. that as well. And we're expecting other markets to follow. So there will be a trend to outsourcing because by combining logistics operations and an external partner, you again have more scale, you again have better cost structures than if you do it in-house. We see it at the moment very much in Asia, Japan, Japanese conglomerates. Um, are, are looking to dispose or divest or outsource uh, their logistics operations. So it's a trend I think that will also continue for quite some time, also driving the growth in the industry.